That's right after graduation, back in uh, June of 42. Could have been June of 2015. <laughs> 96 years old and the sky has never been the limit. It's been a home. It was a matter of doing something I enjoyed. As I say, I, I fell in love with flying. For retired Colonel and Tuskegee Airman Charles McGee, it's a love that brought him many accolades from a congressional gold medal to the Bronze Star even hold a U.S. Air Force record. I ended up flying in World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. That's more than 400 combat missions. But on top of that, McGee and his fellow pilots were fighting another war back home, not for territory, but opportunity. We didn't enter training to say, oh, we're going to go down to Tuskegee and set the world on fire. But it turned out that what we accomplished dispelled the biases and generalizations, that, had, in some cases, racism that had been part of part of our armor policy. And throughout that fight, that at times was much easier overseas than on the home front, he and his fellow pilots found a silver lining as they flew through the clouds. Can't say anything good about segregation, but on the other hand, I can say, well, yes, I can. We were all together supporting one another. We developed lifelong friends. And if you ask McGee how he did it all these years, he'd answer with four Ps, perceive, prepare, perform, persevere. Don't let the circumstance be the excuse for not achieving. We could have bowed our head and gone off in the corner and said they don't like and they're segregating us and don't want to be a part of it. But what would that have accomplished? It's a mindset that's carried him from takeoff to landing for 96 years and beyond. So that's why my motto is, if you give up hope, you're lost. So don't give up hope for whatever. From Bethesda, Omar Jimenez, WBAL-TV 11 News.